It doesn't look like much and then you go in. So that one actually has like a, a repel. So since I'm back in Medellin, but I'm kind of literally just like working and getting stuff done, I thought it would be fun to fill in time to join a few clubs or do a few extracurricular activities. So the first thing that I'm doing is I've come to an indoor rock climbing center, courtesy of Jake bringing us here. So Jake's at the hostel next door at Florentina, and he's a hardcore rock climbing enthusiast, and he has suggested that here is a good place to come, to come and have fun. So. Let's do some rock climbing. The way the grading system works here, or not the grading system, the way that you find the problems. You start on these double tape things. This is the number two problem. Here are both of your hands. Here's a foot. Here's a foot. Okay, and then what, what direction do we go from there? Like over here? See this tape right here? Yeah. Great tape. Still going. Okay. Gray tape, gray yeah. Gray tape, gray tape, gray tape. Wait, we ran out of gray tape. Yeah. Oh, no, we didn't. Ah. Gray, 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 gray. gray, gray. Double gray. Double here. gray. Two hands on that. Yeah. Static, you, you, you're done. Do we need to like warm up or something? This is the warm. -up. This is the warm up. You notice my arms are straight. Yeah. It makes things a lot easier. Okay. You don't want to be using your biceps okay. as well as your forearm. It's gonna feel bad because. It's you're like so far away from the thing. Your freak, your fear is gonna make you like. Okay. You wanna be stretched out. Okay. Beautiful, like an angel. Can I use any of them? Yep. Oh uh, no, you gotta use the ones with the gray lines. Okay. The feet as well, yeah. So remember we were talking before about looking at all the holds before you get on the wall. I know, but how do you remember? Hey, good move. <laughs> My foot. Yep. Did I finish? Stephanie got them skills. Oh. Yeah. getting chalked. Oh look, it's me. Literally just editing relentlessly at the moment because as you all know, I am very, very behind. If you want to keep update with like what I'm doing like at the moment right now, please follow me on Instagram because I am quite upset with my Instagram stories, which is at least one good thing. This afternoon, I am going to join the Acro Yoga community here in Medellin. Unfortunately, I'm only gonna be in Medellin for like I don't know, five or six more days, which means I'm not gonna be able to spend much time at the Acro Yoga Club, but I'm so stoked to finally get involved. Acro Yoga is something I've always wanted to do properly, like actually practice properly. Like, you know, I've got friends to kind of practice with me, but it's not quite the same as going to an a actual like community where everyone's just like stoked and knows what they're doing. So I'm really looking forward to going to that this afternoon. Acro Yoga Medellin has a Facebook group and there's either classes that you can go to or which you pay for, or there's just like the, the, the jams as they call them, which is where everyone's just hanging out doing Acro Yoga and that doesn't cost anything. So we're going to a jam today. It's behind the Museum of Modern Art. Just trying to find where everyone is now. I'm not good 
hard enough. But you're, you're working on it. Like, dude, if you were good enough, <laughs> you would That's not what able, I was trying to say. You would be able to That's use your own momentum, dude. I'm just saying that there's a way to, like, kick your leg. <laughs> if you were good enough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of terrifying, but okay. Okay, let's try again. Okay, oh, yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> let's try again. I'm too heavy for him. Let me try. Let oh, me. with me? Yeah. You're on her. I'm just kidding. Oh, I can't lift I'm too heavy, mom. Whoosh. Yes. Nice. Was it good? Nice. Good job. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> For reference. Hi, I asked Jake a question the other day. I asked him, when I go to Canada, do I need to buy a car? And he went, oh. It's an exaggeration. Maybe. <laughs> it was a really good reaction to the question. You had to be there. <laughs> yeah, you had to be you there. Had to be there. If you've watched the last vlog, I think I mentioned right at the end that unfortunately I left my hat in Guatape, in the hostel in Guatape by accident. I was very upset, but anyway, I did an Instagram post saying like, oh, if anyone happens to be going to Guatape, let me know. And a girl named Judith has reached out and she said, oh yeah, I'm going to Guatape tomorrow. And so I asked her, I was like, if it's not an inconvenience, would you mind grabbing my hat and bringing it back to Medellin? Because she was coming back to Medellin. And uh, I said, absolutely no pressure, don't worry if not, but it would be really cool if you did, and I want to take you out for uh, some food. And lo and behold, she managed to pick up my hat. And she's now back in Medellin. So I am just going off to meet Judith for the first time now. Gonna go get some coffee with her. I'm excited to meet her and I am so grateful and also just like how amazing is the power of social media. I love it. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so you won't believe this. Update on the acro yoga situation. So the first time we came to do acro yoga, Jake over here took us to the wrong place at the wrong time because he thought it was the right place. Your intentions were there, but it was incorrect. Anyway, uh, we've come a second time to try, and we know it's the right place at the right time. However, 10 minutes before we arrived, it started chucking it down with rain. So we like hid under cover, and then by the time we got here, no one was here, because it was still chucking it down with rain. So we've had another fail with the acro yoga, but we're gonna give it another go by ourselves right now. And hopefully, before I leave Medellin, there will be a chance to actually do acro yoga with the whole community, but no guarantees at this point. Colombia, it's Girlfriend Canada! 
everyone. You may recognize Cole if you watch the Philippine series. It's good to be back on the vlog. Um, I can honestly say that my life has been empty without it. I've done absolutely nothing uh, in the last year. Cole has done a lot in the last year. and we, we, we'll, we'll talk to him about that in another episode. There is one last thing that I wanted to do whilst still in Medellin that I have not done that yet. I have not done yet. And it is the Comuna 13 tour. Uh, so we have just got the metro to San Javier station. And now we need to find basically Oh, oh, are we doing a zippy tour? Yeah? They say yeah. We're gonna do a zippy tour. I am boiling, absolutely sweating. There's a lot of uphill walking. And when it's hot, my brain does not work. I can't listen. I mean, that also happens when it's cold, but not the point. So cold's been translating into a slightly uh, easily digestible words for me. We are on the top of Uva. Children are at school down there. We've come up a few escalators. The view is amazing here. And now there's a crew, the black and white C13, Community 13 crew, who are gonna do a little dance for us. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I've loved Medellin. I'm now about to get on the bus to Jardin, which will be covered in the next vlog. But anyway, I'll see you then. Bye!